when BAX The Plug came out with Texas, I was like, I want to do something like that for Kentucky. What do we do in Kentucky? Like, you know, fucking Jeep culture is so big. If you go out to Eastern Kentucky, everybody's got an XJ. You know what I'm saying? Riding, you know, riding four wheelers, riding side by sides. Like, okay, wow. that's what wow. we do around wow. here. Yeah, I'm from Kentucky, Bubba Country Boy. Burn the rubber ball like Rex. Sad to buzz a back row pin. Dirt roll lover, please don't trip out the mud. I drip 270 to the 606. I want to talk about these two songs you got on that new album. You got Riding Dirty. Okay. Which is the first one I want to talk about because it's taking the fuck off. Yeah, Riding Dirty's been been killer. And, and this is the first song, which which it was it was intentional. Mm -hmm. I was intentionally, you know, trying to to get with Kentucky folk. You know what I'm saying? But it's the first time like I feel like my hometown, my state, like the first song that I've ever dropped, like it felt like, you know, home oh, yeah. actually got behind. I, I took a lot of inspiration from Big X The Plug on that song. I, anybody that knows me knows I love Texas hip hop, UGK for life. You know, Pimp C is like my favorite artist of all time. When BX The Plug came out with Texas, I was like, I wanna do something like that for Kentucky. What do we do in Kentucky? Like, you know, fucking Jeep culture is so big. If you go out to Eastern Kentucky, everybody's got an XJ. You know what I'm saying? Riding, you know, riding four wheelers, riding side by sides. Like, that's what we do around here. We used to go out to, right over here to the Greens. Yeah. You know, when we were kids, that's that's how we had fun. Yeah, that was popping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right over here, right down the road. Yeah. I remember those days. Bonfires so, out in the middle of right. it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Fights. Fights. <laughs> Bonfires, fights, and drinking. I yep. mean, that's how we grew up. So I wanted to write a song that really represented Kentucky. And that's really what Riding Dirty was. And thank you, Kentucky, because y'all have really been showing out with that one. And it's fucking awesome. And then you started dropping, you know, a couple other songs that meant, meant more to you on a personal basis. Right. But then all of a sudden you come with Send It. Yeah. That fucking song is probably the... Hardest shit I've heard today. I appreciate that, Bubba. And that second verse in that song is just one of my favorites. That's, I appreciate that. What's the point behind that song? Well, you remember, like, out of nowhere, we, we went out to Gregory back, what, April? Right. And uh, played Mudfest. You know, Bubba, Bubba Sparks wasn't able to make it. And, you know, so we went and filled in. Mm -hmm. Well, my wife went went to the bounty hole to take pictures. Uh, for those that don't know, my wife has a photography company, Captured by Hayden. She, Check them out. She takes pictures and whatnot. Yeah, plug, let's plug that real quick. She did a great but, job on our pregnancy photos. We went down there to, right. to perform at Mudfest and uh, we went down to, to watch the bounty hole races, right? Uh, everybody was, was kind of going in, kind of going in slow, right? And then this old boy on this big ass Can Am Outlander XMR called Godzilla, he just fucking, <laughs> you know, because I was expecting him to go in in right. easy like everybody else. He just fucking sent that bitch, boy. <laughs> and right after that, I came up with the line: "Got that nitrous in my blood, I'm gonna send it." Oh, this 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 might be something. So that's really where it came from. And and when I was writing it writing the verses and stuff, uh, I really I really looked at it. Yeah, it's an off-road song, but it's also a way of life. If you overthink in this world, you get what I call decision paralysis. You might not do your best work because it, you're overthinking it. Fuck that, just send it. It's more than just mud, it's a fucking way of life. Just fucking send it. Whatever happens, happens. Go from there. So it's just basically do it and then see what the consequences <laughs> are afterwards. You know what I'm saying? It's like, fuck it. But I mean, and that, that's really been my whole career. You know, I heard Jelly Roll say, all he, you know, all he did was just keep hitting upload. That's pretty much all I've done, too. So, I, I, you know, I relate to that. Just hit upload. Just fucking send it. If it does good, awesome. If it doesn't, that's cool, too. Right. One thing that's interesting to me is that the, as, as far as you come from Bourbon for Breakfast right. to now, this new album, I think, 
in my opinion, could probably top them all. I mean, sonically, I feel like it's better than all of them. Yeah. Just because I know where I've came from on a production end. You know, from from them early days where mixing and, you know, I didn't understand gain staging and there, a lot of technical stuff that people won't get, but like gain staging and compression and, you know, I was just squashing everything, taking all the dynamics out of it. And, like, I really didn't understand mixing as well as I understand mixing now. So sonically, I feel like it's better. You know, my m- music has always been a little bit bipolar, and it depends on what you're wanting to listen to. If you're if you're trying to be sad, there's going to be some sad stuff on there. But if you if you want to get hype, uh, one thing one thing, and I think this is why the album is taking me a little bit longer, is because before having fun always meant drinking. Right. I've had to find ways, new ways to have fun being sober. With that, I've had to find new ways to have fun in my music as well. For a while, like my, my music just got real, real sad and real low vibration. And I don't want to be a low vibration person. So, you know, I had to find new ways to have fun and, you know, bring that side of me out. He's the type of person that he doesn't need anybody else's opinion. He just goes. And, and whatever comes with that along the way, he, he rolls with the punches. I've been revving up the engine for a minute, you know. Yeah, yeah. Bitch, I'm about to send it. It's like FFO. Yeah. 